Hi everyone, it's me Gigi. Welcome back to Place. Um, really quickly, before we get started, let's go ahead and subscribe. Yay! Hit the buttons, you know what to do. Um, subscribing is amazing, liking is amazing, commenting is even more amazing. Hold on, I'm going to do this real quick. Okay, sorry about that. Welcome back. <coughs> Excuse me. Um, so I just finished watching the season opener, season two opener of American Gods, and I loved it. I had read a couple of... <coughs> I, I don't know if they were reviews or just articles that were really commenting on what had been going on and really I just skimmed them because I don't want any spoilers, right? I don't even really watch a lot of commercials if it's something that I want to see because I don't really like spoilers. So having said that, again, spoiler alert, if you're here, I am going to talk about what happened tonight. So if you haven't watched it. Um, so, uh, some of the buzz was that there were problems with season two. And so I don't really know what all those are. I guess the original season runners are gone. And there was another one that got, I don't know, fired or left on their own or what is the story there. But there were some problems this season. So I guess we will see as the season plays out whether or not that's reflected in the quality of the show. But this first episode I really enjoyed. Uh, they were all in Kentucky, I want to say it was. I don't want to say it was. I know it was. They were in Kentucky at um, Ostera's place. And they were, um, she was mad and she took the, the spring away. Um, but it didn't seem like it was gone in this episode or that that was anything that was of any consequence. So I'm not sure why that was a big deal. At the end of the season, that was kind of a letdown to me. I was expecting to come back and people are starving or something, but that's not what happened. Um, it picks right back up from where they left off and they're on their way to that house on the... <sighs> house on the hill. I want to say it's a house on a hill. The house on a hill. And this dude who didn't own the property came to this place and started building a house for a reason he didn't know. And apparently it was for capitalism because people started coming and he started charging them. And before you know it, it's this big, huge, rambling awesomeness, which it did look really awesome. I would go there. But, um, and I'm sure it's just a tourist trap. So at this point, I don't know what his original purpose was. And apparently he didn't either, but... I guess God directed him to make a tourist trap. So that's what he did. Or one of the gods. Something. <clears throat> but it's a place of power. And in this place of power is this carousel. And when all of the gods got together at this place. And a whole bunch of them did. Like 12 of them. And I guess that's not really a whole bunch. But it seems like a bunch to me. They all got there. And then they hopped on this carousel. And went on this ride. And had this meeting. And they talked about whether or not they were going to have a war. And it seemed to me like things were still up in the air. But then they come back from wherever they were, which Bill Quist told Shadow that she thought that the meeting was somewhere in Odin's memories. And so I guess you're in his mind somehow, some place that he constructed for, for this meeting to take place. And so after the meeting, they're all at one of the gods' um, restaurant, cafe, truck stop. Truck stop. There were trucks there. I'm going to say truck stop. And she's, um, I'm going to guess like a Hindu god of war. I don't know all the, the names. You know, I'm sure there's a lot. Uh, but she was really gorgeous, and she had a long braid and beautiful makeup. And even in her um, waitress uniform, she was just so pretty. And Bill Quist was there, even though she wasn't invited. Just a whole bunch of gods that we don't even know were there. And so now they're at this cafe. And then Mr. World, Mr. World was talking to another god through messages. And they, I guess, decided together to um, have an, 
somebody come and just start shooting the place up assassin style and <clears throat> so they did and and it's pretty brutal this one dude got shot through the back of the head and it came out and like his part of his face popped out it was so fucking gnarly and um <clears throat> but the sad part the sad part uh, which really hold on let me back up a tiny bit so the shootings going on and while it's still going on shadow rushes out he sees where the shots are coming from and he doesn't go out the front of course he goes around and skirts around the trucks and stuff and gets over there and sweeps the guy's legs out from underneath him and um, they start fighting and while they're fighting the dude gets knocked down he pushes this button and a little light lights up and a light shines down on top of them both. Something hooks onto Shadow and he gets pulled up and they take off in whatever this craft or whatever it is. I don't know. It doesn't really show. But then you cut back to inside the cafe and somebody, some one of the gods got, got shot. And it's... Um, Back a few episodes ago when they were playing the checkers and uh, Chernabog was going to hit Shadow on the head with his hammer and kill him. Um, there were three chicks there. The young one, the, the mid-aged the mid, uh, one, and then the old, old one. And they represent the day, you know, like the night. <clears throat> and the old lady was there and she's the one that got shot. The one She's played by Cloris Leachman and her name is... Zoria, Zoria, that's Z-O-R-Y-A, Zoria is how I would say it, Zoria Verna, Vernayaya, so, um, and she dies, so it was like, what the fuck, and then Wednesday, of course, being the opportunist that he is, starts playing it up big, is this what it'll take, is this what it'll take, and you can see there's this one moment where he sort of looks up to see if it's being effective. And you're like, dude, can you ever just have a genuine moment? So, and then that's, then Laura Moon realizes that her, her sweet puppy has been taken off. And that's the end of the episode. So I thought, well, things happened in the episode. It wasn't ground, you know, it wasn't like. I almost said groundbreaking, but that is so not the words I want to use. It wasn't, you know, like earth shattering. There you go. Um, except for the death. Except for, um, yeah, you see me like in Zoria's death. Um, I was really upset about that. But you know what? Cloris Leachman has been a part of my life since I was a little girl. So to see her die even just in a show is not something I enjoy seeing so there's that so anyway I think that we're off to a bang we will see what happens it's only an eight episode season uh, or you know every season's only eight episodes well this is only the second one but um, <laughs> so really it's it's not it's only gonna be two months and then we'll we'll see where we're at with this but it really concerns me that it's only eight episodes and you guys couldn't get it together enough to make eight episodes of a TV show. And I heard there was a lot of, you know, like problems creatively, you know, that people weren't seeing eye to eye or what have you. So <clears throat> I don't know. Egos get involved when you're making things and everybody has an idea of what they want to do and they think their idea is the right idea and everyone else is stupid. So Whew, it's, you know, that kind of stuff is hard. So, um, <clears throat> oh my goodness. So tomorrow I'm actually considering going shopping. And if I do that, I'm just going to take you along with me and make that the vlog. If I do not do that, we'll come up with something. I don't know, but we're going to go ahead and close it for tonight. Thank you for coming by. If you're enjoying American Gods too, please let me know in the description, uh, in the description. Yeah, why don't you write the description for me, um, which I don't really do anyway, but sometimes 
but um, leave me a comment below. If you want to follow along with me further in my life, you can always follow my social medias. I have Instagram as GG Tally, and also you can follow my Snapchat for GG Tally. So if if you want more of me, that's where to find me. Mwah. Thank you so much. You have a wonderful, wonderful night.